Okay, it's been a while since I did a video and an update on the project. Um, today, I actually hung that 250 pounds right there. Hopefully the light's good enough in here, you can see what's going on. And it was just a quick test to see if it would actually turn the gearbox. 250 pounds really is not a lot of weight. Uh, but it did turn the gearbox. So, uh, we just hooked up a cable to that and built a, a little inexpensive scaffolding here. Uh, just some wood blocks. Right there. And then just use some pneumatic uh, floor jacks to uh, you know, to lift it up, so we had going on there, and um, that was just to see if the gearbox would actually turn, were we having any kind of binding issues with weight, and uh, it turned. It was only for a few seconds, but that's, uh, you know, that's good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount a, uh, a winch, a pulling winch so that we can actually lift the weight higher, something like that right there. Okay, $30 part, usually goes on boats. I mean, usually goes on a boat trailer, sorry. So we're gonna mount that in the back there, run on a separate cable. And uh, maybe put some type of stopping pin or something in. Probably mount up here and, and have to put another pulley in here somewhere. And close to that wheel. Maybe like right here. Yeah, maybe somewhere along the line here, put another little pulley in the middle. And then just put the boat winch there and run a cable down there. Uh, again, this is still, we're just in the testing phase here, so you know, we've got a long way to go yet. And uh, my instincts tell me, based on what I saw today, we could probably actually increase the gear ratio so that we can get more RPMs. Uh, but we're going to do some load testing and some things like that and see if the PMA is producing. And if you look at one of my other videos, I, uh, actually I didn't run a video on that, but I bought a little uh, uh, photo, RPM photo sensor. Very convenient little device. You just put a little um, reflective tape on a, something like that sprocket there and then when the uh, sprocket turns I'll know what the RPMs are. So I get an accurate reading on RPMs, I know what my voltage and ampage and all that is, and wattage. So just a little update, let you guys know what we're doing. And it's, um, today was pretty cool. Very good day, a little bit of a breakthrough day. And uh, I'm keep moving forward. Once I get the winch installed, I'll be able to run tests, you know, with uh, a little bit more frequently and, uh, and get some readings on the PMA here. So this is looking pretty good so far anyway. The, um, the framework held up really good with 250 pounds. I didn't hear any creaking. There wasn't any buckling. There wasn't any, hey, watch out, something's breaking. So, uh, again, 250 pounds is not a lot of weight, but uh, an under load, I'm sure that P may have required um, quite a bit more weight than that. But uh, this is all a good sign. I wish I had run a video to show you what, how I built that little uh, piece of 2-inch tubing with a thread of rod down the middle. I just put some washers. Um, down inside there around the threaded rod and uh, I don't know if it was probably not going to pick that up but one at the top and one at the bottom inside the tube so I kept the threaded rod space perfectly inside and there's this actually a steel plate at the bottom that I just uh, drill a little hole in to put the threaded rod through and mounted a, a nut and block washer on each side of it and well that's how we were able to mount the weights down there and lift this all up so didn't have to do any welding that's good Okay guys, I hope this uh, video's got enough light and step back here a little bit maybe, get a little bit better view of what's going on here. Cable runs up, goes to the wheel, right? Weight falls, turns that chain. Kind of hard to see, turn the chain right there. And goes down to the gearbox. That's that sprocket right there. Right. And uh, and does its thing.
runs through the gear ratio, and bam, the may turns. Um, so we're going to keep, like I said, we're going to keep working on this. Get the boat winch mounted and uh, be able to definitely run some more tests. And as I said already earlier in this video, my instinct's telling me I should be able to increase the uh, gear ratio a little bit. Go back to a small um, driver sprocket there, uh, which will be good. That means I can probably hang more weight and get more run time and, and, and slow down the rate at which the, the weight falls. But that's... Uh, Long way off still, well, a little ways off still, I'm going to put the cart before the horse. So uh, I'll let you guys know how things go. Run some more video once I uh, get the winch installed and get some numbers on the PMA. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging with me, as always. Talk to you later.